Do you want to know how to get the duffel bag completely solo within GTA 5 online? If so, you came to the right place. Stay tuned and I hope you guys do enjoy. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Tropics here, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day. So, like I said before, in today's video, I'm showing you how to get the duffel bag within GTA 5 Online completely solo. It's very easy. You do not need a lot of things in order to do this, and it's a lot simplified rather than these other versions that when you're going into director mode and doing all that kind of stuff, and this glitch, it's all online. You don't need to go back to single player and stuff like that. It's very easy, and it's going to take you about 10 minutes. So, if you guys do love these type of videos, where they're under 10 minutes and I get right to the point and I tell you guys how to do the glitch exactly very detailed and stuff like that if you're into those videos I definitely recommend subscribing and turning on post notifications to get notified every single time I do upload but with that said let's jump right in with this video so first off guys what we do need is a terabyte or you need a friend with a terabyte it's either one you basically just need to be able to start up a job called the robbery in progress so if you have a terabyte what you're gonna do is just go inside your terabyte and go over to the computer and then select the top left little message and click robbery in progress and just start that bad boy up but if you don't have a terabyte what you can do is go ahead and join a friend that has a terabyte and join his ceo like office or whatever like the secure serve join that and then he can start it up but if you don't have a friend with a terabyte that's what the comment section is for so go ahead and comment down below asking for help or just go ahead and try to find people to do the glitch with down in the comment section down below so once you actually start up the robbery in progress what you need to do is just go to the new location that it wants you to go to so you're gonna have to go through these camera angles until you find the robbery and then once you find the robbery what you're gonna do is fly over there now what I recommend doing is using the oppressor or the oppressor mark 2 because it is the easiest to do this glitch with or if you want you can use a helicopter it doesn't really matter so what you're gonna do is just make your way over to the robbery in progress now at this point there's gonna be some guys in like juggernaut suits so what you need to do is make sure you be very very careful around them now the gun I recommend using to kill them is the atomizer like gun I forget exactly what it's called I think it's called the atomizer but basically it just like sends this huge wave it's like the wave gun or the thunder gun in Call of Duty so you're just gonna try to kill them with that or use grenades or something like that and what you need to do is also be careful from the cops killing you because that's actually what happened to me I got like swarmed by cops and killed at the end which was kind of sad but it doesn't really matter if you do die because all you need to do is just retrieve the duffel bag so once you kill the guys you're gonna find the guy with the duffel bag kill him retrieve the duffel bag and go over to the new location in your helicopter or oppressor mark 2 or the regional oppressor so once you make your way over to the next location which is the final drop off point of where you're supposed to drop off the duffel bag what we're gonna do is fly up high in any of your vehicles that you can fly up high in and what you're gonna do is just simply jump out and pull your parachute right away now what we're going to be doing is trying to fly and land exactly in the circle where the drop off point is. So what I recommend doing is holding the top two little bumper buttons because what that does is it makes it a little more accurate in order to go ahead and fly right in to make it a little bit easier on yourselves. Now this looks a lot harder than it actually is. It took me like one try to do it. It did not take me any more than one try. It's very very simple and easy to complete. So once you do successfully land inside of this circle, what we're going to do from here is get back on the oppressor or whatever vehicle you have, and we're going to make our way over to the ammunition. Now once you arrive at the ammunition, you're just going to walk in, go over to the counter, and we're going to go ahead and select the parachute. Then we're going to buy the parachute, and then we're going to go to parachute bags, and we're going to select the Israel bag. Now guys, it is number 25, I believe, out of the whole entire category of parachute bags. So just scroll down to number 25, and you should see the Israel bag. From there, we're just going to go ahead and purchase this and back out out of the menus and open up our interaction menu now once you open up your interaction menu you're going to go over to style go to parachutes and select on now from there you should see the israel bag is now on your back and from there what we're going to do is head over to the mask store so now at this point you do need the oppressor mark to a helicopter or something like that again because we're going to be parachuting yet again so now we're going to make our way over to the mask store and we're going to fly up enough so that we can pull our parachute and make our way and land right in front of the mask store. So what I recommend doing is flying like in front of the store and not to the side of the store to make it a little bit easier on yourself. You're going to jump out and do the exact same thing that you did before by holding the two bumpers and you're just going to angle yourself right into the front of the store. Now once you jump off the oppressor, you're just going to go ahead and land yet again. And once you do land, what you're going to do is simply press right on the D-pad and save your outfit as whatever you want. I obviously 
recommend saving it as duffel bag or whatever to make sure you guys know which outfit that is and pretty much once you do that and you save it you can back out of the menu hold open your interaction menu go to style and select the new outfit that you just saved with the duffel bag and boom it should appear it's that easy and I hope you guys did enjoy this video if it did work for you and you guys did enjoy I definitely recommend subscribing and turning on post notifications to get notified every single time I do upload I've been uploading a bunch of new money glitches and stuff like that for GTA 5 so if you want to go check them out feel free by checking out my channel and a bunch of other videos that I have posted and it's greatly appreciated if you guys can go ahead and smash that like button because it shows your appreciation to the channel and it also keeps motivating me to keep making videos like this but with that said I hope you guys did enjoy I will see you in the next video bless up. Hey, can you make some paper, boy?